option B would be a more traditional parking authority or parking commission model. Um, this is basically where the responsibility for, for parking assets uh, are transferred and governed essentially by a very detailed management agreement. We've given a copy of that, of, of the sample agreement to the city. So they really don't lose too much control. They've really got control and they still have ownership of those assets. Um, but the management is essentially handed off to a board um, through this management agreement. Um, again, this kind of model would, would in some cases have bonding capacity. We've kind of taken that off the table here. Um, most often the responsibility for all aspects of parking uh, are handed to a, this commission under this model. It's typically headed by a president or executive director. And this is actually a, this is a positive in the sense that if you want to go out and hire and recruit somebody, you might get a better quality candidate for somebody that would be the president of a parking authority as opposed to a city department manager kind of a thing. So it helps your recruitment a little bit. Um, um, so that's a positive thing. And, and usually all the decisions are made by a board, typically of seven to 15 members. Usually the majority of that board is appointed by the mayor. And usually you would have people from the city on there. Uh, Pat Roller is the comptroller. It would be a great type city person to have on that board because she really understands the bond covenants and the, and the responsibilities and the obligations the city has regarding all of the current bond debt. Um, planning people might be important, having somebody from transit on there, the Grand Wayne Center, you know, a broad variety of downtown stakeholders to be represented. So that would look something like this. Um, so basically you would have, it would still be a city department, you would still own all the assets for the city, but you would vest some authority, and again that's how much of that authority gets vested in this commission or this board of directors of this authority or commission is really defined by that management agreement. So it's really up to you to define how much of that you want to give away. Uh, you still have an executive director or a president or whatever you want to call them, parking administrator, uh, that would have the primary responsibilities for doing all the things we've already talked about. You can still do parking management contracts. You can still have in-house staff. So that's just a little different variation. Uh, the board is typically composed of uh, high-level city staff, either the mayor or city manager or an appointee, the director of finance, director of public works. It might, might also include uh, property owners, developers, uh, downtown association president, in your case the did president, uh, chamber members, large downtown employers, restaurants, retailers, you know, those kind of people that really can give us a broad uh, sense of what the pulse is relative to parking. Uh, again, we kind of like the idea that we don't try to create a big, another bureaucracy here. We want to kind of keep this lean and mean. Um, you know, one of the advantages we've seen in our <coughs> communities is that a lot of times there's a lot of sniping done. Um, people will complain that, well, if we were running parking, obviously we could do it better than the city does, which is not really quite fair. And look where those people have taken over parking in other cities. They've learned just how complex and how, uh, how interesting parking management can be, and they probably wish they hadn't taken it on most of the time. But with this model, one of the things I really like about it is it tends to put everybody in the same boat. And either we all row together and we get somewhere, or we end up rowing in different directions and going in circles. But at least it kind of takes that sitting on the sidelines and just sniping at everybody about parking management out of the picture. So that's one more advantage of this model, this commission model. I like to think about Toledo. They only manage three parking facilities in downtown Toledo, the downtown Toledo Parking Authority. But they have done such a good job of cleaning up parking, giving good customer service training, painting the facilities white, doing great graphics and signage and wayfinding, upgrading their equipment, offering new programs, new customer services that they never had before. And basically, all the private parking in the, in the downtown Toledo had to raise their standards because they were, frankly, the parking authority was just making them look bad. So it was really kind of the idea of a high tide rises all boats phenomenon there. And you know, even though you only managed a small percentage of the parking, you still had a tremendous impact on the entire downtown. 